Happening now, the biggest dinosaur known to walk the earth is coming to life here in Chicago. Before Maximo the Titanosaur could go up in the Field Museum, he had to get inside. <laughs> CBS News' Lauren Victor is live inside to explain how it all happened. Lauren, I think you got the assignment of the day. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I'm very happy that I was uh, given this report. So anyway, I want to tell you what's going on right now. Check this out. We are making some progress in here. This dino is going to be made out of six skeletons. It'll mostly be cats with about four real bones, but this was all just put up in the last hour. He has huge feet, an eight foot thigh. <laughs> and this 2,000 pound backbone. Meet Maximo, or parts of him, who needed maximum machine power from Dan O'Gene to get into his dino digs at the Field Museum. What's going through your mind when you have that piece in the air? Uh, not much, just to keep it under control and pay attention to who's signaling me and telling me what to do. That coordinator is Dan Breams. Using a crane to get stuff up that entrance, we do it maybe every two, three years. The Dans didn't break a sweat or a bone. The 15-foot cast touched down safely on the museum's front steps in less than four minutes. We brought up a Viking ship, a whale, skull. I picked up a piece of Titanic at the Museum of Science and Industry. I've also picked up a rhinoceros. Crews unloaded the rest of this 122-foot titanosaur on Monday after a long ride to Chicago. It's, uh, it's multiple sea containers coming all the way from, from Argentina through the uh, harbor of New York and arriving here. The last part of Maximo's journey hit a snag. Some rugs, but human elbow grease did the trick. He rolled up to the spot formerly occupied by Sue the T-Rex. Maximo, who traveled by air and sea, will be two buses long. It's unimaginable that this animal walked around and, and, and had found enough food to eat. All right, back out here live. No cranes needed here next week, but crews tell me the front doors will have to be taken off to fit in a new flying dinosaur in here. This whole exhibit officially opens in June, but it is open to the public now to come watch this construction take place. I'm Lauren Victory reporting live inside the Field Museum, CBS 2 News, Aaron and Marissa. I feel like if I was somebody working on that, I'd be like, don't drop anything. <laughs>